sound speeds. Elizabeth, I've been up since 7 a.m. waiting for your ass. I look so tired. <laughs> so you want to take one marker? And every week, I'm always checking in a few times. Like, you well, acting like hold you, on, you're coming in so hot. So no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm coming in so hot. I wish you would come in hotter. Actually, you sent me nasty messages. You've been sitting up, festering in your little rage. No, I'm just respectfully saying Elizabeth's job is to produce the back half of the show. I check in multiple times a week. Like, hey, how's it coming? Have you started producing the show this week? She's like, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. And then I last just night, because you don't like the th stories doesn't mean I'm not she doing had the work. And something very fun without me. And I said, well, when are you going to plan what? you're supposed to do for the podcast this is i go to so open crazy. i go to this open so the document crazy. this morning there's three hot topics two of which we can't do on the show and i'm like no we i text totally her and i was like on the show the he hot just doesn't topics, want to talk about things. the hot topics are dot dot i don't want to bring the show down and that's this fine. is an ex a, a happy safe <laughs> escape for the world escape <laughs> The event that he's talking about that he wasn't invited to, he was actually invited to and then fucked up and didn't come to. What? Oh, no, 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 no. That's... You had three events yesterday. Also, where the fuck were you last night on a work night? I was at a concert thingy. For who? My friends have a little band called Lion's Mouth and I went to go see their set. Okay. And she came on the Shane Dawson podcast, which will air closer to Christmas, but she drops a bombshell on me. I've been trying to plan a Christmas themed theme park adventure with Lizzie for so long. And she's just sitting on the couch. She goes, I'm going to Universal tomorrow. I can go to Universal <laughs> any day. Do you want to go tomorrow? What? Yeah. So it's not a big deal to you. No, we could go Wednesday. And then I, I, look, I have a season pass. And then she's texting me obscurities yesterday. And I said, aren't you supposed to be at Universal right now? And she was like, no, the lines are too busy. The lines are too long. Okay. We're not going to go when lines are 95 fucking minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's pivot. Well, hello, you guys. And welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Elizabeth Gordon. Happy Thanksgiving week, you yeah, guys. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving week, I'm you guys. I'm so thankful for you, Elizabeth. Thoughts and prayers for you. Ryland in this fucking trying oh, time. <laughs> no, I really am excited to hang out with you today. Why? Um, why not? I don't know. It feels like you're about to do something horrible to me. Oh. And that's why you're excited. No, actually, I was going to have you start on what has been daunting to you for about a month now. As you've, whoa, as you've entered the adult world. Oh, my health insurance yeah, journey? You got health, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, fuck health insurance. I'm so sick of this bitch. <laughs> it's not their fault that you can't even find where you're trying to go no, no, on no, a no, map, no, 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 let no. alone okay. navigate okay. an application. Don't, don't you right now start victim blaming me. Because <laughs> if I sent you what my app looks like, and you know for a fact it doesn't look like yours, so I am flying blind. I said, click on it. And she goes, you can't. I'm not so do you not see okay here's the backstory here is the backstory mm -hmm. I'm a I'm an a la carte girly I go to the dentist I go to the optometrist I go to the dermatologist I've never really needed to go to the doctor unless you count what's going on with my asshole and the fact that I shit myself all the time which is something I've chosen not to deal with yet that being said I can loop all of my little health care needs into fucking like $700 a year okay and that's beautiful and great and everything right as an American, I am forced to get health insurance that I don't necessarily use all the time that costs me more than the health insurance, than the health care that I actually need annually. And that pisses me the fuck off. But I'm doing it because I'm trying to get fucking pregnant. And every month that goes by that I'm not fucking pregnant and still paying for health insurance, I get a little crazier <laughs> and a lot fucking poorer because I've incurred a new monthly charge that I didn't want or need. Anyway, that being said, I am a Kaiser Permanente girly. I was born at a Kaiser, excuse me. Wait, you were? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they have no loyalty. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I, and I'm technologically inept. Challenged. Yeah. yeah. You've seen me on this podcast try to Google. Find a restaurant. Yeah. Find phone numbers, find restaurants. It's it's not my bad girl. I'm, I will have a panic attack meltdown on a road trip if a motherfucker's like, why don't you Google a place for us to stop and eat? And I was like, why don't we just look at the fucking signs on the side of the road and get off when we need to, And brother? that's why it's hard for me to decipher how much of this is a real problem or if you're the problem because it's not just Kaiser. <laughs> that's, and no, that's, no, no, that's fair. That's fair. It's, I, I assumed I too was the problem. Your Kaiser app is messed up, but you've gone to multiple other places this week that you also couldn't find. And I started to think, who's the common denominator? <laughs> and, and that is fair, but I will also say this hospital campuses are fucking massive usually people who have to go to a hospital 
are not doing well. <laughs> so if a motherfucker has to go to a hospital campus that has eight fucking different buildings and each building has at least five motherfucking floors and they're like Narnia in there. You go through one fucking door and you wind up in a different building on another block somewhere else and you're sick. So how are you supposed to use your, you're not firing on all cylinders. So I'm, I, I show up. I'm Joe said I could talk about it. So I'm just going to talk about it. Okay. I've been, uh, attend I, I don't even know what to call it because quite frankly that is me being an idiot but is are they all called fertility clinics um i, I yeah i i would assume we're so. gonna call it a fertility clinic yeah so i've started a fertility journey i wanted to know why it was taking me longer not longer whatever i have no chill i don't give a fuck judge me guys i don't have a fucking chill bone in my body i don't think it's anybody's place to judge everybody else thinks it's their place to judge and tell me to chill out and well, it's like that's helping in your personal life you're saying you have a few friends that have been like you haven't been trying long enough to go see a specialist and i'm like well there's no you're, like, you're never going not? to a specialist too soon like yeah there's the only thing she'll give you is more information, even if you don't do any sort of procedure. Yeah. And if you think about it, I have health insurance that I pay for monthly for a pregnancy that I do not have. I'm losing money every month. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so it, I, no, I'm not going to chill. Um, so, yeah. So I found a fertility clinic that I like and a doctor that I like seeing. So I had my first appointment to go see them. And it's not through Kaiser. This is on nothing. They're not going to help me financially with this, which, right. again, is very <laughs> fucking irritating. Um, Do they not have fertility specialists at Kaiser? They do have see? fertility specialists through Kaiser. But no matter what, it's out of pocket. So I just chose a place that I like the I like how much it costs. I like the I like what it is like. I like the way it is. Mm -hmm. And I really like the doctor because she laughs at my bits. Right. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's, you gotta feel like you gotta like the person who's going to be like up in your business. You know of what I mean? Course. Spelunking them in my But before you met your doctor. <sighs> before I met my doctor, I put the address in exactly on my little Google maps and I get to the campus and it's, you know, like a fucking college campus. Like it just spans all of Glendale is this bitch. And they, I, it says like something east and so i go okay so i'm gonna go to the east building parking so that'll be the closest proximity that i can be i get into east building parking it's like an archaic fucking parking garage and when i say archaic i mean it like the fucking parking ticket thing is analog they still have a guy that has to sit there to take money because they don't have a machine that'll take my card and they have no way of judging how many vehicles have been in if the guy's not doing the little clicky thing on his little <laughs> counter right and he's not. He is not doing the clicky thing on his counter because I had to go in and out of three different parking garages to look for a fucking spot that was available. And then I had to walk for 15 minutes in the goddamn fucking rain to the East Building from where I was eventually able to get parking. And guess what, guys? Not in the East Building. I get to the East Building and I go to the woman and I'm like, hey, is this a fertility clinic? <laughs> and she's like, no, that's in the 1500 building. And I go... That means nothing to me. So can you be a little bit more fucking clear about what the fuck the 1500 building is to a layman like myself? But I work in production and I'm I am a moron. I'm a moron. I don't I do not know my left from right. You right. can say go right and I'm going that way because that's what my heart wants. <laughs> and I, at least you knew in this moment that was left. My my I did because I'm being funny and when I'm being funny I'm really good. <laughs> but I was even thinking about it like my tragic flaw is I will in my heart of hearts go the wrong way forever and I could be working myself up to a fight with probably you because it's you and I that are well, lost. Well, no, I was afraid of the text messages you were sending me in your uh, in your oh, I, understandable tantrum. Oh, I was in a full fucking bitch fit. And, I, and thank God for the long walk because it chilled my ass out. <laughs> and by the time I got to the doctor's office, I was too tired to be as mad as I was before the walk. The good um, news is that you liked her. I liked her. But the the bottom line is I work in production. I get an email from production that has a map that tells me how to get exactly two set from any one of the corners. That's of the highlighted. It's like directions yeah. for dummies. And it is interesting yeah. that a hospital that's always in the same, same place spot, that could, never moves. Just do it, guys. Can't just highlight a fucking path. Sprinkle some breadcrumbs. <laughs> 
I hate to say it, but I also went to Kaiser this week. Well, this was not Kaiser related. <laughs> okay, but didn't you also have a meltdown? At I also Kaiser? had a meltdown at Kaiser because my <laughs> app is no, my app is broken. My app, you saw. Your I app sent would you screen be grab on screen I mean, grab. I saw. I haven't been inside of your app to like know if you're just like pressing the wrong button. No, the app is so flawed that it doesn't even spell out the entire name of what I'm doing. It just so you know, like the location thing that has the little the little teardrop upside down mm -hmm. and it says location mine doesn't even fully spell out dermatology that's so weird because not only did it tell me in the app it sent me an email it gave me a notification yeah, like no. it couldn't shut up about where i was supposed to go i could only <laughs> find the address for the building if i hit add to calendar so that it would add the count it would add it to my calendar on my cell phone and then i could open it in my calendar on my phone and that was where the address was but with no office number I'm so sorry for Like, what in the fuck? <laughs> and I'm just out in these streets being a hero. And then because she had such a tantrum about how hard it is to find things, I showed up so early to my doctor's appointment because I was like, I've never navigated this Kaiser building. And Lizzie acts like it's impossible to find something. So I'm on the phone with her. I was like, I've got to go. I've got to focus. And it literally was like, go this way and then go up to the third floor. And there's the room. And I was like, oh. There it is. <laughs> Didn't make one wrong turn. Well, that's why after should... you had, I, that's why I screen grabbed all the other shit I, know, I had. I know, I know. You were fucked. I'll do... I was, and then I had to go again on Saturday to get my blood. They took all of my blood and went spelunking in my pussy. And I well, couldn't even give me directions for that. They were like, go to go to the U building. I go to a security guard and go, excuse me, where's the U building? They're like, we don't have one. We don't have a U building. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, well, I'm supposed to be in the U building mod one. They're like, well, mod one is a thing, but it's not open on Saturdays. And I was like, what the fuck? So I arrive at my physical. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I'm such an adult. I haven't gotten this done in like five years. I need to get everything checked out. Of course, three days leading up. You experienced me last Monday. I'm already feeling, fearing for the boner that I might be getting. I like strategically chose a doctor that would like make me think of like a grandpa or something so that I wouldn't get hard. Maybe you should hard. have a female doctor. That would scare me even more though. Like if I got a boner with a woman and I'm like gay. Oh my God. I don't know. I feel like she would have to call the cops on me. Like you'd question your sexuality? If you were a female doctor yeah. and I popped in and got a boner when you were touching my nuts. If, if, <laughs> if, you're, if you showed me your penis in person right now, would you get hard? Uh, well, like, would you so, scare yourself hard? No, because we're so close. <laughs> I, I mean, I could get hard right now if you... I mean, <laughs> see, that now it seems like a weird sexual threat. <laughs> Rewind. Um, okay. <laughs> So I'm anxious. The nurse comes in. She's weighing me. Um, I sit down. She's like doing my vitals. But because it was raining that day, mm -hmm. I also had like a long sleeve shirt and a sweater. And she's like, oh, no, this needs to go on your arm to get your heart rate. So I had to take off my shirt. And I was like, oh, my God, I could like smell the body odor like Same. flying into the room because I had contractors at the house that morning. And I was running like a crazy person to get out of the house to make this appointment. I was running early because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to find anything because mm -hmm. of Lizzie. And... <laughs> <laughs> was she wearing and, a mask at least because i reeked like shit too yeah, but she was. all my people had masks on i was like Thank and then God. before the doctor comes in i'm running to the bathroom and i'm like washing my armpits Jesus. because <laughs> no like he's gonna be down touching my balls and i'm just gonna be like you give so many fucks it's crazy well no i it human to human i hate the smell of bo right. and, and i feel like you. me taking my shirt off when i like can't even stand to smell it myself yeah bad i when i went to the dermatologist i was on my period and i was like oh no they're gonna like look at my whole body like how do i hide that i'm on my period it's like do they care i mean i think they is it not a female that did it it is a female that she did it which is period. why i'm being crazy right i'm like she's gonna know i menstruate it's so like, the doctor comes in and this motherfucker he just asks me how i'm doing he's like how many how many times do you work out a week do you smoke do you drink and then i was like no no, I mean, I drink like one glass of wine a week, maybe. And then he's like, OK, we're all good. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why am I here? Like, what? Yeah. That's a physical? Like, physicals are a scam? Yeah. I literally was so upset. I had so $400 much. $400 a month in insurance for that. I had so <laughs> much work to do that day. But I was like, I need to get checked out. Literally did nothing. And so I always hear everyone being like, you need to be your own health advocate. You need to speak up for yourself. I was like, well, I haven't had a physical in like five years. And last time I had a physical, they checked my balls for testicular cancer. And he was like, oh, no, you would know. And I was like, what, what do you mean I would know? He's like, well, your, your nuts, they feel like almonds. And if it doesn't feel like an almond or there's a lump, you'll know. And I was like, 
okay you're like, no i want you to jiggle these balls and i, I was know. like how much more can i beg for you to like check out my nuts it's starting to sound desperate but i thought that's what i was paying for yeah and then he's like well we could get you blood work but you can't do that today because you've already eaten breakfast and i was like so i'm literally here for no reason nobody could even tell me if you're gonna get your blood work then don't eat i, I got went, my blood work done after i ate I, breakfast i went for them to ask me if i smoke or drink yeah. And then they sent me on my merry way. Wow. I could fucking kill them. I do like I do wonder about that. Have I already bitched about this on the podcast? But like how Morgan had to beg for them to cut out her fucking malignant skin cancer. My dad had to fucking beg for years to have their dermatologist cut out their fucking malignant cancer. I had to beg to have my malignant cancer cut out. Like, what are you guys fucking doing <laughs> that you need 300 at least of everyone's dollars every fucking month to ask if we're smoking or drinking and then deny us everything we think we need? And while telling us we are the ones who know that we need something, but then you gaslight us and say, "Oh, you don't." I'm so done, dude. The crazy thing I could about set this Kaiser house on fire. And the crazy thing about Kaiser is they won't let you see a specialist until you get your like primary care physician sign off to go see the specialist. So you have to make like an appointment to go to the appointment that you're actually looking for. And I'm like, well, I don't think that guy's gonna vouch for me for anything. He didn't do anything. So they sent me an email like, "How did we do?" And I want to be a Karen and be like, "Horrible. This was." the worst experience ever but i will give them that their urgent care when i went for my heart thing was phenomenal this was just like a bad misstep i mean whatever i did i do have to say i hated the general practitioner i saw at K kaiser the first time remember i told you like she hurt my feelings mm -hmm. and she hurt my butthole and I was like, whatever, we just have to work together, I guess. Like, we don't have to be friends. And then this last week when I went, I was, I'm, I am an idiot. Like, I'm, I'm totally fine admitting I'm a fucking moron. I thought I made an appointment with a gynecologist and I didn't. And <laughs> so that was my bad. But she's also, she's a general practitioner who happens to go pussy splunking on weekends. And God. so. Well, at least she went into your pussy. She did. Like, and so. How and, blessed. and by the way, she did. She ran a bunch of blood work for me that I needed done just generally. And then she also ran the blood work I needed done for my fertility journey. Well, let me go to her. I changed her to my regular doctor. Okay. In, and I told her, I'm too stupid to use this. And she goes, oh, you just change it in the app. And I go, ma'am, I can't just change anything in the app. She goes, don't worry about it. I'm going to have the nurse come in here and change it for you. And I was like, what? And she goes, and I'm going to have her walk you down to where you're getting your blood labs done because I can tell that you're special and you need that. <laughs> I, practically, I was like, you can't just take my blood here. And she's like, no, there's a special no. place at Kaiser. Yeah. And I was like, can you tell me where it is? She she's said, like, you'll find you. it. No. Uh, <laughs> See, that's my point. But okay. this woman walked me down, held my hand. She goes, yes, let's go. Darling. I'm so happy there's good people in this world so yeah. i call lizzie on my way out just to like debrief about both of our bad <laughs> days because our appointments were on the same day and she's like hold on i gotta call you right back i gotta report a fire and i was like what like, there was a huge what? brush fire on the side of the road when i was driving to my next appointment and i'm a fucking hero forgive me <laughs> she's like I, I gotta go so she calls now <laughs> she calls 911. Yeah. And I saved the fucking day. She calls me back moments later. She's like, oh, there's the ambulance I called. <laughs> I'm just I'm, saving the day. I started and waving like, at the cars around. It was thank you, thank you. And she's like, just another day where I saved the world. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I've done this so many times. I was like, how have you been in so many scenarios in your life that you've had to call 911 on multiple occasions? Like, I'm glad you're doing it. Hey, see something, say something. I've never, like, I've never been the one to like spot something that I'm like that needs reporting right now. Well, so how are you always in the right place at the right time to call? Usually, the police? I'm not the first person to call the police. Usually, the police are like, oh. And a, re a report's been made thank you and then they hang up so that the line's not busy and this is the first time actually i've called and they were like oh shit <laughs> we better go and i was like finally <laughs> so you single-handedly saved burbank yeah i mean i'll call the police over a dog in a car with the windows up on a hot day i've done that did that in a costco parking lot i called the police when that guy had a seizure i'll call the police i'm comfortable calling the police okay uh the best mistake I ever made was accidentally muting you. I'm so done with this. <laughs> no, I when love did you, you so accidentally mute no, you? No, we're like, well, okay, so it wasn't accidental. But because I've been having the contractors. Chris, what I if I just beat him to death? <laughs> Chris, what if I literally just put hands on this dumb bitch? Do right it on here? camera so that you go to jail forever. Uh, so Chris, got the camera. <laughs> there's been contractors at my house every single morning since we've been back just trying to get everything ready and uh they'll always give me a window from like 7 to 8 a.m and i'm like well i'm not gonna wake up 
at 7 a.m. if you're really going to be late and show up at 8.15 a.m. Or you're coming at noon. So I've been leaving my sound on so the gate will wake me up um, but you text me like a maniac and in a loving way no but like, i will text you at 5 a.m if she, i'm awake and have a thought and it's not just one <laughs> thought she sends a text for every thought she can't yeah she, like, it's not a condensed thought i need there to be it because ha- i don't <laughs> punctuate so it's like my next thought comes in a different text just so it's not just a full unintelligible stream of consciousness and so i have my fu- phone full blast so i'll wake up if the contractor gets there and i'm just literally like 6 45 a.m it's like bing 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 and i was like well, i can't put my phone on mute so i had to go in and fucking just mute you like can specifically I just, can I just say, you like, my heart hurts and it's changed my, like my feelings it's hurt. changed my life <laughs> like it's not like can i'm I responding you, so can to I you? Tell you about some childhood trauma that you're like really digging up right now well can i finish my story fine <laughs> uh it's not like i'm responding less because when i open my phone i still see that i have a message it's just if i'm like in the middle of working like you know when i'm editing if i get into a flow it's like please just let me stay in this flow like if something brings me out of it it like it's hard to get in a flow so when you get in a flow it's mm-hmm. good and it's always like every time i get in a flow lizzie has some good things to say to me well that's crazy because usually when i get in a flow is when you call me because you're walking your dogs and don't have any service and want me to just listen to you breaking up for 15 minutes <laughs> and i do because i love you you're a great friend and i will say when i get needy or when i get bored i start going crazy too at you so yeah. it's like we well, do the same thing but maybe try muting me no because, but no because if you really need me your phone calls still come through like every time you call me Oh. That still works. Interesting. So it's a nice tip, and I don't like doing the full blown "do not disturb" because I have a personal ick when I message somebody and it's like, "This message was received lightly." I'm like, "Fuck off! <laughs> Just turn off your phone or mute me altogether." I will also say that if I don't respond to his text messages when he needs me, he will straight up text me, "Say you fucking hate me." It gets progressively crazier within the <laughs> half an hour. Yeah, like <laughs> when I was little and there was no such thing as texting, like in the dawn of time. I used to just call my friends before school just to chat and it would, and they would never answer. And I would be like, oh, I guess I got to call back right away <laughs> because I was little, you know, I'm like five, I put five to seven. I don't know. And so I just keep picking up the phone and calling them all morning, waiting for them to answer. And they never answer. And then one time a dad picked up the phone. He was like, stop <laughs> fucking calling and like hung up. And I was like, <gasps> I can never make eye contact with his daughter again. And I lost a friend that day. <laughs> And so you doing this right here, right now, Trigger City. I'm just saying it's brought me a lot of peace. Well, because like, would it be enough if I could never give you peace? And I would like to say I'm an influencer. I'm like personally, single-handedly influencing my friends. I told Lizzie that I was doing a Bristol Farms Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. So she ordered a Bristol Farms Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Crazy. Well, it's cheaper than getting food. Isn't that wild? Like way cheaper than getting food and it's cheaper than the Costco one. And you and know it's you probably better. Customize. Oh, I got yeah. it before. My mistake last time that I got Bristol Farms was thinking I could do the turkey, like man up and do the turkey myself. I couldn't. It was raw. I had cooked it for like six hours and it was still raw. And Shane had to postmate turkey from Denny's. And I was like, well, all the sides are great, right? <laughs> And after I, I tried, love how you say it's manning up to make the turkey. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that's like. Whatever. No, it's just funny. I didn't think it like that. Okay. I saw Alex Earl put bronzer on the side of her chin, so I put bronzer on the side of my chin, and now I'm worried it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my problem with things like the influencers or celebrities do. It's like I keep seeing these Kai drops. Like Kylie Jenner is like trying to be Kim Kardashian. Not trying. To, she's, Kai drop. Oh, not like eye drops no kylie jenner's <laughs> new brand that kai. is her version of skims yeah it's a clothing line right it's called kai and every time i see the pictures it just like doesn't sit right with me because they're like these unrealistic things that only look good if you're kylie jenner at a photo shoot with the perfect lighting at the perfect angle yeah and it's it, not cute stuff i watched a bunch of people like i fell down this rabbit hole of watching people get it and trying it on and it looks exactly like i thought hideous and horrible on everyone because it's so specific do they like it though no they hate it yeah. and they're all like it's like this her is an amazon suits. dupe that you can get for cheaper they're trying to move product but it's like right. it's hideous stuff well what's crazy to me is like her bathing suits like only work if you tape them to your pussy lips because they're so thin <laughs> yeah and so i think she's done more fabric these are like big puffer jackets and crazy dresses yeah, not, but they're yeah. just like but they're still hideous you if they're see- not 
tape it, it's or the, whatever yeah it's like you have to be stationary for yeah, one photo they have to be pinned in the back so that you have a figure or you look like you're just wearing a comforter so i mean i hope it's doing well for kylie but it is just so devastating to see these like everyday people getting these clothes and everyday people could be anyone except for yeah. kylie jenner right <laughs> getting these clothes. I, mean, I had the same thought i saw uh on instagram justin bieber and Haley bieber were out doing some shit and Haley bieber's like dressed like my brother in high school in 2000 and i'm like this is not it like honestly it's not even good on her really yeah she probably just wore his clothes out to breakfast it may i don't know they're like it looks too big for him too and the shoes she's wearing are like kitchen server shoes you know like the kind of special black rubber sold shoes that never get dirty and you won't slip in mm -hmm. she's wearing those was it raining maybe she wanted to not slip I mean, good for her for being practical. If she wasn't Haley Bieber, I wouldn't be being nasty right now. But it's like, what she is this? access to everything. Today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek. And you know, I'm always living and breathing to get back to Taylor Swift. And she's honestly coming to Miami with the perfect amount of time after our kids are born for me to go. So I'm already browsing my tickets on SeatGeek. SeatGeek has over 28 million downloads and is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. And with artists, like I said, Taylor Swift, the Jonas Brothers, Big Time Rush, Drake and Beyonce all on tour, you are not going to want to miss out. The things I love about SeatGeek is that they put all the tickets from across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad, and every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know SeatGeek came through for all of you guys. Use our code SIP for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code SIP and make sure you click the link in our description to download their fantastic app. I'm so excited because it is officially time to shop for the holidays and we are sponsored by Uncommon Goods which is one of if not the best place to find your gifts in the entire world. You can breathe a deep sigh of relief because Uncommon Goods delivers on the wow factor of gift giving. They help make it stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for mom, dad, teenagers, in-laws, or your best friends, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. Recently, I've been loving all the personalized gifts. You can get books, which are so cute if you have friends that have kids, cups, candles, shirts, mugs, anything and everything. When you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. These fine products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. What I love about Uncommon Goods is that they look for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the US, and they have the most meaningful, out of the ordinary gifts anywhere. From art and jewelry to kitchen, home and bar, Uncommon Goods literally has something for everyone. These aren't the same lackluster gifts you'd find at every single department store. And you can feel good about shopping at Uncommon Goods with every purchase you make. They give a dollar back to a nonprofit partner of your choice, and they've donated more than two and a half million dollars to date. And of course, they also came through for you guys to get 15% off your next gift. Go to uncommongoods.com slash the sip. That's uncommongoods.com slash the sip for 15% off don't miss out on this limited time offer uncommon goods we're all out of the ordinary riley escaped my house we're like fighting on the phone about this because she was <laughs> trying to get me to the taylor swift orange theory class chris you've heard me talk about the orange the taylor swift orange theory class i told the i told rylan i said rylan sign up now before you have to get your seat on fucking seeky and i told you take my phone and sign up myself uh and she didn't. So then I signed up the night before. I was 10th on the waiting list. And then I came down to second on the waiting list right before it was going to happen. And I was like, but I'm not driving an hour to a workout class that I don't have a guaranteed spot in. Did you check to see if I would have gotten in you had I gone? In. Yes. I don't know about that. I do because I watch people from the waiting list get on. And so while we're fighting about this, I let my dogs out the front door to go to the bathroom like I always do. Which is crazy to me. Like you have no fucking anxiety about these dogs. Well. I've had these what do you mean I have lots of anxiety about these dogs but not in this yard I've had Uno and Honey here for three plus years they have a gate in the front yard that you have to drive through to get in and it is the oh, world's slowest gate this is completely gate. separate no it's not because this is completely don't act like I'm a like flippant parent I'm not saying you're flippant but I am saying you are bold 
No. I, he and you just th- you throw these dogs in the backyard acting like they could they like there's nothing out here. Well, like, no, the backyard's go. fine, but I, I had opened the door for them to go out in the front yard, and I like even every time I get back to this house, I walk the perimeter to make sure there isn't a gap now in the fence or something mm-hmm. that there was previously. And somehow I like Uno and Honey come running back. And Riley's not back. And I was like, what the fuck? My stomach drops. And I'm like, it's okay. So I'm running around this property, like shaking treats and screaming, Riley, Riley, for like three minutes. And Mm. then I run up this mountain because there's a mountain behind our house. I don't see her anywhere. And then I'm like, okay, she's definitely not on this property. So I like run upstairs and I'm like, Shane, wake up. And I'm like screaming at Shane. So then he wakes up. I was like, you go a different direction than me. So we're both running because this is like the middle of the mountains Mm -hmm. where we live. And we're running in different directions. And thank God a neighbor was like, oh, I saw your dog running that way, which I had just seen that neighbor and they had said nothing to me. And somebody was putting up Christmas lights. And I guess because Shane asked directly, they're like, oh, yeah, we saw a dog. I was like, my shaking my treats and screaming my dog's name frantically didn't prompt you to say, I saw a dog running. But whatever. So they said they ran that way. Was this out on the street then? This was out like, yes. She went on what is our dog walk. Um, but that's crossing like a major yeah. street that people race on. And the last time that she had gotten out before, like when we had very first gotten Riley, um, she found a way under that Uno and Honey had never. Um, so then we like secured that properly. And then she found a way out this way. Shane started running. I grabbed the car so that when we found her and thank God we found her, but it was like 30 minutes of me bolting around this fucking neighborhood, like a psychopath screaming her name. And so now air tags are in the mail that I'm, that we got callers that they sit inside of. So that if God forbid one of them ever gets out, I'll know exactly where they are. But now I have to go around this perimeter again and completely fence it before she can just be out in the front again. This makes me sick. (sighs) Thank God we found her. Yeah. It was like... I'm like, I got to go home right now and check on my dogs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Every time I leave the house, I'm like, I know that front door is just blowing open. And my dogs are running and getting hit by cars. I was on the freeway and I heard like, you know how sometimes you like go over the sleepy part of the road and it's like... Wee! And I was like, oh, that's my dog crying because he's under my car and I'm in him and I'm dragging his body. Like, it's just dark in here all day. <sighs> it's crazy. Okay. It's dark in here. Um, One thing that's been bothering me lately, and I know the one wind- thing... Yeah, this is then just... I think we've already covered it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of Apple gaslighting me about the weather. Do you have like the weather sitting on your home screen? No. Like I moved my weather as like a widget to my home screen because I'm like crazy about the weather. I like to know what I'm in for. Mm-hmm. And so often Apple's just always saying it's severe weather. And I know like today's um, windy, but when it was saying severe weather, it was like gusts of 12 mile an hour wind. And it's like severe is that not a lot? 12 miles an hour seems like a lot. It's not a lot. Can we run 12 miles an hour? Of course. We could. Mm, how high does the... the Are we about to get in the Tesla and test 14. it? Oh, they do? Uh-huh. I think. No, I think they go to 15. So yeah, we could. Yeah, we could definitely go 12 for a second. Damn. Wild. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. <laughs> oh, um, do we want to talk about what happened in Orange Theory when you weren't there? I mean, if you want... I just thought it was particularly cool. Okay. Joey King was in my Orange Theory class. Who, I know that's like a famous name, but I've never, I don't know who that is. She's in the Taylor Swift music videos, like she was as a little girl, and then she was in the new version of, not the new version, but the I Can See You with Taylor Lautner, and they were the special guests. They were one of the special guests the night that she announced Speak Now. So she's famous because of Taylor Swift. No, she's also a famous actress. She plays Gypsy Rose Blanchard in the act. She's... Ramona Quimby she's in a, like a lot of movies okay and her gay best friend made the class her gay best friend made the fucking class That's so hard and I was you. there like an idiot with none <clears throat> 15 miles an hour Chris is saying is roughly how fast a normal human can run we can get there we can't maintain it no but I do think we should for the sake of the podcast do it after do it what like I think one of us should get in the car probably me I'll drive why don't we just go to the treadmill then, next door you guys have a treadmill next door uh, that's right what? yeah we're gonna just we're, we're gonna figure it out don't worry I'm wearing my running shoes <laughs> okay um okay anything else well I was super excited to take a picture at the end of class because no. I, I was like I love Joey King like I I've literally when I had my tv show going i was like i think joey king should play me <laughs> like i love her and so when i realized it was her in the classic like, i have no glasses on so it's shocking that i saw this bitch's face but i was like that girl seems like vibrant and full of life and i went oh, that's joey fucking king were you cool 
I was not cool. I kept looking at her and it's like, I'm blind, but nobody else is. So, so people can see me. Do you think she knew that you knew? I don't know. Cause I didn't, I was, I was trying to be cool, but still staring, which isn't cool. <laughs> and, um, I like went on cause in orange theory, if you log in with your Fitbit or whatever the band is called, you can see everyone's names on the thing. And it was Joey K. It was Joey K I N. And I was like, well, that's Joey King. For sure. And then I realized the woman next to me who I'd been talking to and been really funny with is the fucking creator and showrunner of Vampire Diaries. Thank God you were being funny. I know because Gorgeous played like, you're so gorgeous. And when it was done, I turned to her and I was like, Taylor actually wrote that song about my dog. (laughs) She was like, (laughs) yay. And I didn't have my little bit on, so I couldn't see how long we had been in the class. So I kept asking her, like, how long has it been? Are we almost well, that's done? that's the crazy thing. You wanted me to experience a 90-minute Orange Theory class, and you psychotic person. Dude, I was not cut out for 90 minutes. <laughs> me either. No, it's hard Mm-mm. work. But I kept thinking, like, Taylor does three hours. Taylor does three hours. I kept telling myself that. I was like, get up. I almost fainted, bro. I had to sit down. Um. Okay, do you want to tell us about your movie? Oh, I mean... Or do you want to wait? Or do you want to? No, show- I'm, I'm, I will talk about it. I think you what, put it on the top. I know, I know. But then things happened over the weekend that like make it awkward, but I'm just going to. Okay. F- keep going. And keep going, girl. <laughs> um, so last week I, th- it was last week that I complained about that premiere I went to, right? Yeah. Okay. F- I'm so done with idiots getting to make horrible fucking movies that I'm fully <laughs> capable of doing myself. Cause I am an idiot who can absolutely make an awful movie. So I'm doing a crowdfunding campaign and I'm shooting my own fucking movie and it's going to be fucking sick. Good for you. I think you should take matters into your own hands. It's like, why wait around for somebody else's yes? Yeah, I don't need your yes. I do need your money. <laughs> so I... We're, well, we'll have to come back when it's live. There's nowhere for them to go right now. You I can't know, point I know, them I know, anywhere. I but I'm just starting to, I'm starting the conversation now. It's going to be a really contained horror story and it's a love story. There's uh, two female leads in it and it's... I'm shooting it with my best friends who have shot on almost everything I've ever done with. And we're all really lit on it and hyper excited. On December 16th, we're shooting the Kickstarter out in the woods and it's going to be fucking cool. Oh, By woods, do you mean you're going to ask for my backyard? I was just going to say maybe your <laughs> of woods. Of course, I know. Okay. No, I don't. We, we need trees. You okay. have like desert woods. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you'll have babies. Well, it's Thanksgiving. So what are we thankful for? I'm thankful <laughs> for my audacity. Good. And I'm thankful for you and your friendship. Thanks. And I'm thankful for your babies and all of my babies. I have a lot of babies now. Like, I don't even know how many I have. Okay. Um, I'm What? <laughs> no. Why I, are you being a bitch? I, I'm not. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. What are you thinking? Well, no, huh? I was, I was thinking about you. going into our Thanksgiving plans, but I was like, but then we're just going to talk about what actually happened on Thanksgiving next week. So I was like, there's no point. So uh, I was editing myself. It was less it. about you, it more about me. It was awful to be on the receiving end of, just so you know. I was like, now I need you to tell me what you're thankful for so I can do that back at <laughs> I'm you. I'm so thankful for you. You are a great friend. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my babies. I'm thankful that they're growing so healthily and happily. I'm thankful that we're going to get to meet them soon. Bro. And I'm just so excited to like have loved ones in my life and have a great job and get to do such fun things for a living chris oh um i'm thankful for a lot i'm thankful for i love my family very much and i'm grateful that both my parents are still around because things happened that made it so that almost wasn't the case so i'm very happy that i get to celebrate another holiday with both my parents i love my friends i love you guys uh i have the most fun amazing job anyone could ever have and i'm beyond grateful for that and the fact that this is like the first time in my life basically that i don't have to supplement my work with like a retail job or something else i can just do my job like not a lot of people gonna do that so i'm very lucky this year very blessed um super grateful will you get to will your mom and dad be together with you on thanksgiving um so we're kind of doing two thanksgivings and the second thanksgiving we're doing together Okay. Yeah. Cute. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> we'll be back next week to talk about it. Next week. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm so confused about that. We do this show every week. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are we doing next week? <laughs> oh, uh, can I address something? If you want. I don't wear glasses when I do this show, and I don't wear contact lenses. Are people concerned about it? No, but people are saying that I look at Chris nasty. I can't fucking see that far. <laughs> so you're like... So I'm squinting to look to see him. And I get that it it's looks so like I'm annoying. like... 
it, I w- but it's like I can't I can't oh, see him. Your glasses are right there on the table, and it right. would be annoying for everyone watching to have to see the reflection of our lights yeah. in in the glasses. And not to be like but a it, misogynistic '90s rom com, but I am much prettier without my glasses. <laughs> Why don't you just wear contacts? I, you know, I can't do you that. You just get over the hump. It's I'm, a very I, small hump. I did it for like, six months, bro. It's not for me. Really? Maybe you just need to try a different brand. There's I some tr- that are thinner or more I know. breathable. I tried dailies. I tried monthlies. I tried weeklies. I am stupid. <laughs> I panic when it comes time to get them out of my eyes. I know. One time my brother had to like hold me down on the floor, pry my eyes open and take it out himself. Sometimes I think about calling the cops about that. <laughs> Sometimes I think, will they come get these? Will they okay. send a fireman out to come I get these I have a surprise for you that you're not going to like. Oh, but we no. are going to go try something for Thanksgiving. Oh, God. Um, Chris is excited. At least I have <laughs> Do you know what it is, Chris? If you're not oh. excited and you're going to be nasty, you can sit in the back. Okay. Like when you were looking at me and I was talking about my thankfulness. I, t- I explained to you what was going <laughs> on in my mind. I feel better about it now. You're right. I'll let it go. But I am grateful that you're grateful for me. I forgive you. Thank you. It feels like you haven't. <laughs> um... So we're going to go. I was going to try. Where are we going? Oh, you're saying it right now. <laughs> so there is going to be an episode where we do like the whole Costco menu because I think that would be fun. But because it's Thanksgiving, I saw that there's an actual like Thanksgiving dinner ice cream at Baskin Robbins. Thanksgiving dinner ice cream? It's just we're going to figure it out together. Oh, do you think it's like a full dinner? Like this is a Willy Wonka situation? No, and we get but like hints I did, of all of it. I don't know if it was Baskin Robbins or Cold Stone that are they're serving ice cream cakes that are like Turkeys. shaped as a turkey. Do you want to make That's one of those cute. together? Can we make an ice cream cake? Oh, I watched a how to how do and I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm really good at some things. <laughs> Like You're I can't at, like, find executing. my way anywhere, but I could make a turkey cake like that. That's a pretty good idea. Um, okay, so we only have a few minutes for this, so pick your favorites and let's make them quick. Um, okay. I was kind of stopped in my tracks about Snoop Dogg quitting smoking weed. Yeah, I'm not sure how real that is. I'd, I'm honestly thinking it's a publicity stunt, and he's gonna like launch because I thought he was in works with Martha Stewart to launch like an uh an edible um, oh because he like so like if he's stopping smoking but promoting edibles so the ac- the background of the story is snoop dogg went on his instagram page and said like i'm done with the smoke but he literally said the word smoke and then the and next, so what you're saying about him launching I, something, I think it's a publicity stunt for him to launch edible i mean i could be wrong he could just actually be done with smoking or yeah. thc in general but uh that was a weird way to say it. Uh, yeah. But uh, his next one was like just a picture of him being like, respect to my privacy. So it is hilarious. And it does have everyone. Snoop has a great presence on Instagram, by the way. Snoop has a great presence in the world. It's I mean, like yes. He's like, there are some people who transcend. And I feel like he's a he has transcended. Yeah. Like he is. He's a staple in our society. In, on like almost every channel. Like he's on the animal kingdom. He's channel. taken over everything. Yeah. And very lovable like very has lovable. managed to stay very likable i did see something on tiktok and now i'm not sure if it's fake or not but i thought i saw that snoop came back and was like i was just high when i said that guys and you know how when you could get really high that you're like scared and like the room spinning and you don't know how much weed does it take for him to get to that point that is a good question <laughs> and, I, and then i'm like is he crossfaded because the only time i got the spins like that was when i was drunk and smoking weed and that was a rough i was so I had this spin so bad I felt like I was on a Gravitron and I couldn't pick my fucking head up to save my life and someone had put on the Hulk movie and when, so I'm watching the Hulk movie and I thought that's what did it to me and it's like no bitch <laughs> it was the fifth of vodka and the fucking bong rip you just took that did it to you I still to this day have an inflated sense of Frozen because I was so stoned the first time I saw it so I frozen? was like telling everyone that it was like this movie made from God and Frozen is an incredible movie but I was acting like, like to everyone I was like, everyone I met, it's like, hi. And I'm like, hey, have you seen Frozen? You need to stop what you're doing right now and go watch Frozen because it's incredible. And it was like, I was just so stoned. You're like a door-to-door Frozen Uh Frozen salesman. I love that for you. And then I finally convinced, like Shane doesn't really watch many animated movies. And I finally was like, it's so good. Can we just please have a day night and watch it? And we're watching it. And I was like, for some reason, this isn't living up to what I remembered in my mind. (laughs) (laughs) I I saw Frozen for the first time. This is so insane. I was on a yacht in the ocean by the Galapagos Islands. 
And I, and that is not for me. <laughs> like, I'm just, I hear how that sounds, but like, if you know me, like, that's not the trip I'm going on. You know what I mean? I don't even know what kind of trip is for you because you don't like a beach. No. You don't like, uh, I'm terrified of the ocean. <laughs> so to be on a tiny yacht in the middle of the Galapagos Islands, and they kept, the excursions were things like, let's go in the ocean with the animals. And I was like, ah! <laughs> but you know how they have those life preservers those little round things uh-huh. they had thrown those in with everyone who was like snorkeling in like open ocean with animals in the galapagos which are granted very friendly because they have no threats but i'm don't care so i'm uh, my whole body is on this tiny little flotation thing and my feet are turned up and out of the water toes <laughs> pointed and the medic on the boat is just holding me afloat out there and i was like all right so i'm gonna go back now but i was violently ill for the first two days like shitting and vomiting my fucking brains out everyone thought i was gonna die i don't know how it happened to me but it was not cool and i saw frozen for the first time that time and i was like this is great <laughs> Because I had I had such limited options of viewing because there was no internet. So I just had access to what they had on the boat. And it was that turbo and a fucking like 18 seasons of this British detective show. Okay. What hot top? We only have two more minutes oh, of hot topics. I think topics. we covered it. That's it? There's the- <laughs> Pick one more that you well, like. You're Nothing not- depressing. I don't want to. It's Thanksgiving. Let me oh be thankful. Oh my God. <laughs> well, they're technically all depressing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, in the best news of the century, they had the fucking turkey leg ice cream cake. And it's a full turkey, it's not just a leg, bro. It's so cute. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> We're gonna have to take that out. You know I have to find lighting. Don't kill me. We found a turkey fucking ice cream cake. I need good lighting. It uh, is amazing. The I only... feel like they put frosting on here that looks like a turkey butthole, too. <laughs> The only downfall about that experience is Baskin Robbins don't have knives to cut into their cakes. And I said, let's just pull the legs off and eat them like ice cream cones. I mean, that's how we'll have to start, I suppose. What a bummer. We're going to have sticky fingers. They put in a brand new container store right here that Lizzie will not go inside of with me. Mm -mm. A container. Oh, I wanted that spot in the shade right there. Of course she's going to take it. Wow, I'm fucking hungry. Oh my gosh. I'm so hungry. Oh. And I'm really, so... that person gonna take two spots? Oh. I mean, they would. Did you see how that guy pulled into this parking lot? Like, or, no. Are you kidding me? You're gonna they're, make a fight with him? They're taking two spots. Should we fight him? Yeah, I mean, Literally, obviously we're like, about to. Ryland's livid. We know. Oh, he's correcting it. We know. Yeah, there we go. Let's we, all look at him. We know I'm the world's craziest Parker, but that was insane. I frowned at him. Good. <laughs> and he knew it was about him. <laughs> Let me see if I... This might dunk. be good. I think it's good enough. I feel like I'm way too fucking close. <laughs> okay, you can back up. Okay. Um, do we know what these are called? I'm so excited. So, the reason I actually came to Baskin Robbins before I even saw the turkey cake was they have a Thanksgiving flavor. These spoons are so cute. Why? <laughs> They're like miniature and the color of pink. You don't think that's cute? You're joyless. No, I mean, <laughs> you're li- I'm literally, I- I just think they're the same spoons they've had since the 90s. Oh, I don't. Go to Baskin Robbins. Okay. I go to Cold Stone. Right, I mean, they're just, this is a, just a spoon. I do think we should pull it's, this out. It's called Turkey Day Fixins is the name of the flavor. You pulling this totally sweet. out is insane. The flavor is sweet potato, autumn spice, creams mixed with honey cornbread pieces and swirls of cranberry sauce. Ask Sam. Ryan if he was listening. I was not. <laughs> but I'll see it in the edit. Will you open it so that we can get a good thumbnail? Wow. Okay, look at the lens. I have, there's the, like, my eyes are dead. <laughs> wow, the problem is we don't even have napkins in after we take off the... Sounds like Chris is gonna have to lift, lick our little fingies clean. <laughs> well, hold on, Elizabeth. Can I get a spoon? You don't have a spoon? You want a cute little spoon? Thank you. You are being crazy. Don't take out your bad day on us. I'm having a great day. I'm really The whole car right here, you were screaming about things going on. Um, are you guys ready? I'm really yes. excited. Cheers! Wow. They did the most. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh my God, they're not kidding when they said sweet potato. What mm. the fuck? Wow. Mm. I know I'm easy to please, but I love it. <laughs> it 
It's bold. Fla I mean, it's not bad, but it's bold. It's a big choice. It's bold as fuck. Very bold. A mm. lot happening. <laughs> There's nothing not happening in this. I would mm. never order it again, but it's definitely an experience. I think there's sour cream in it. I mean, it's good. I've, I've never tasted Thanksgiving in an ice cream. It's really Thanksgiving. They did execute. I'm not like... The only thing I'm missing is like mac and cheese and green beans. <laughs> <laughs> the jam and the white ice cream are good. It's the sweet potato flavor that I'm still like on the fence about. Are you a sweet potato person in general? Oh yeah, I love sweet potatoes. Oh. I just don't know if I love it as much as, it, I know sweet potatoes are sweet, mm -hmm. but this is extremely sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the cranberry is so good. I like it. I still just don't, oh, what are the the chunks? Cornbread. Really? Mm -hmm. I think you like this more than most things we've had on the podcast. We definitely do. Based upon uh, you're going back for more. Yeah. Like a lot. I might also be rage eating. Uh, oh, I thought you weren't angry. I'm not. <laughs> um, uh, wow. So, what are we going to do about this? <laughs> like, I just have a dick at home. Do we need to get a knife? We can just dunk into it with our fucking spoons, bro. I know. Oh, I want. I did want to try to rip off a leg. I just don't have a Did you get a, a video a of napkin. it before it's destroyed? I'm going to get it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let Chris get a video of it. <laughs> so... If you want to head over to my vlog channel, <laughs> wow. I'm gonna can make I see this. The back stitching part? Lizzie's gonna try to recreate and see if she can. I want to make it with Rylan because he's such a fussy guest, but I don't think he's available. I mean, I would be down to. I've never tried executing making an ice cream cake before. I like, think we should do it. It would be fun. We could do a cook off. Each of us tries to make a turkey. Is there a napkin in here? No, but you do have a full thing of Avena body lotion, so we're good. We've already discussed that. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. Full. I'm, I'm pulling the leg off. I was trying to... Well, you hold on. They want to see it. Do you want to just roll on me ripping this leg yeah. off? Okay. Make a wish. Gosh, Go why is it dark? Yeah, spread it open on the camera. Oh, shit. It's... <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck! Well, it's... Oh, my God. It's hollow back there. They're... Okay. They're ice cream cones. Oh, my gosh. The ice cream cones? Yeah. The legs? This bitch is fucking hard, dog. I don't even think we could cut into it. Oh, my God. The Bro. top layer is caramel. Yeah, duh. Can duh. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, then let's let it defrost while we drive home for a second, and then we'll be right back. Oh my god! Chocolate with caramel cone. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. Basket Robbins. Basket Robbins fucks. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll hold on to it. Wow. We're back. Okay. <laughs> We're home and I'm hoping that this is going to work out for us. <laughs> Christopher, here's for you. Oh, thank you. A Friendsgiving. Oh, how are we going to cut I it? Can't, I can't believe they just make this. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, behind. Oh, oh, oh fuck. should I film from this angle? It's too late now, bro. Oh, shit. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I guess I should get close on the other leg too, huh? Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. That's for Christopher. Uh, thank you, thank you. Lizzie, do you just want to cut into the cake yourself if you don't want a full-blown leg? Yes. And here, I'll take... A leg. I'll take a leg. Do you, here. Oh my god! That is wow. fucking incredible. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god! Are you kidding? Oh my lanta. The eighth wonder of the world. A turkey leg? It's just chocolate chip cake, cake ice cream. Just? just shut that. Wow, I love the caramel. Are we ready for a bite? Oh my god, mine's falling down. Yeah, let's take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> You're yum. so fake. Yummy. Mm. It's mm. great. It's actually really good. Wow. The way that there's real frosting, I'm not sure the ice cream cakes that I've had in the past have incorporated real frosting. Don't you taste the real frosting under the caramel? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I'm, I am positive the ice cream cakes you've had in the past have real frosting. I don't, um, I don't know that they do. I would bet my whole fucking life on it. <laughs> like, I'm sick of you being nasty today. I'm not being nasty. I'm just saying, if you, it was between life or death, and I had to place that bet with full confidence. Why is there no joy home? You need to figure out why there's no joy left. It's the holidays. I'm over sugared. Well, then stop eating. I guess. I'm not forcing you. I like the crunchy. What is the crunchiness? This. Mm. Uh, that's cone. an ice cream cone for the turkey leg. Oh, wow. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. It's is it just regular chocolate chip or mint chocolate chip? It's just regular chocolate chip. I'm so happy. It's delicious. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oops, I tried to pick it up like a like a chicken leg or a turkey leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this isn't the cleanest thing that's ever happened to us. Uh uh. I watched your vlog this weekend and I watched you glitch out trying to figure out if you were trying to say fill or full or feel. Feel or fill. Well, I'm And because of your uh, because of your Utah accent, you couldn't even remember which version of the word you were trying to say. <laughs> well, no, I'm... both versions of it are fill for you. I was trying to say I'm going to fill the nursery. Yeah, but you couldn't tell if you were saying feel or But fill. progress is being conscious that there's a difference. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying it killed me. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow. And there's no Oreos, it's just chocolate chip? Yeah. This is incredible. It's so good. There's nothing I love on this earth more than an ice cream cake. It's pretty good. And I want everyone to know that. I don't I even know if this qualifies as ice cream cake because there is actually no cake. Mm -mm. It's just ice cream. This might be the first ice cream cake you've had with no cake in it. That's not the truth. <laughs> you've had an ice cream cake with no cake before. A lot of the... Actually, when they give a cake, I'm always shocked and stunned. Like when there's, there's a layer no of cake. cake. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of times they'll give like the chocolate beading, but it's not actual cake. And I got one... Was chocolate it... Chocolate beading? It was Cold Stone that had real cake. Because normally I get mine from Dairy Queen. It's like a chocolate crunch in the middle, got but it. it's not cake. Interesting. And so when I got a Cold... Or a... Cold Stone, not Dairy Queen, I was shook when there was cake inside of my ice cream oh, wow. cake. So I think it's actually more normal to not have cake. And now this is just an ice cream cone. The chicken leg turned into an ice cream cone. Yeah, before your very eyes. I love this. <laughs> it's so tasty. It looks really mm. cute. This started my Thanksgiving off on a nice note. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I love that they put caramel over the top of it for the coloring. It's pretty G. Mm. Yeah, suck that up. Mm. And it actually, I thought the caramel would be annoying, honestly, while eating it. No. But like... It's a it, nice touch. Yeah. It, mm. it, it's tasty. Mm. Well, <laughs> do you have anything else to talk about? No. Nothing? I don't think so. Did you want to see your lookalike? Oh, this was something I wanted to talk about. I feel like I've talked about this. Well, you said that you were in the Eras tour. Yeah, but the you, movie. in fact, were not. Well... I'm going to I'm gonna tell my kids I was. I know. You tried telling me and my family, and then you were shocked that they didn't believe you. <laughs> oh, no. Did I, oh, no. My phone's right here. But we did get an yeah. emailed submission. Hi, Ryland and Lizzie. Is Lizzie in the Eras Tour movie? Like, first couple minutes in, she's one of the first fans shown, and she's bawling. I cackled so hard. Also, I love the pod and you guys so much. Yes, I am. Um, that is me. And so she <laughs> sent a picture of it as well. <laughs> oh, you got a picture? I didn't get a picture. I That's that why I told you you haven't seen this. You kept saying, I'm ready to No, okay, when Joe this. and I went to the Eras Tour movie, I was like, buckle up, babe. I'm probably the star of the show. And then literally five seconds in, this picture she comes up and you. I have... And I have literal, like, I got butterflies in my stomach when I saw this picture come up on the screen. And Joe looked at me and he was like, is that you? And I thought it was me so much so that I got like, oh, I made it! But it's not me. It is not me, but I will tell my children it is. I'll put it on the screen. Oh I think I'm God. doing a good job. Look, it's like I'm sitting right here talking right now. Yeah, no, this looks so much like me that literally when it came up on the screen, I straight up got butterflies like, I am the movie. And you said there's, and somehow I missed that. Like, I didn't even see that woman. Which is insane because before he even oh, it's goes in. Oh, there was somebody standing in front of me. I remember now. I couldn't see the fucking movie. I texted Ryland before he went to the movie. I said, I'm in it. I'm in the first 15 seconds. Open your eyes. Mm. That's your best friend. Tell your family. It's me. And then all I got from him was. Could you believe how joyous the people in the theater were? And you said there's new details on their dating situation? Travis and Taylor apparently were hanging out before she came to the game that day. Um, and Well, aren't they dating? <laughs> yeah. It seems like something a dating couple would do. But the whole thing is people were speculating that she came to the game because he went to her show. And that there was nothing in between. That that was the first. That, oh, that this was, was the all in the same day. No, I don't know. What's I going don't know on. if I can even talk to you okay. about well, this much sugar. <laughs> Despite your frustrating day, I love you very much. 
And I hope this you feels seek, performative. I hope you seek therapy tonight. <laughs> and I wish we would have had this lighting when we had the full blown turkey. Maybe I'll face it forward. Yeah, face it forward. Can you hold this knife? So yeah, I would love to hold the knife. <laughs> oh no, don't give Lizzie a knife. Lizzie was trying to kill strangers on the way back home. Yeah. What? Oh. You, you, come on, well, calm my, down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like, I can't. The, I have. I have the plate. I know, but then this is gonna Put fall. Put it down. Okay, I'll hold both. Drop. I, go. I got it. Okay. I go. I'll Photoshop this. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and enjoying our show. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. I got a burp. I got a burp. Uh, make sure you have a great, blessed, safe day. And make sure you, you do. Hopefully, Lizzie will come around. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and following us and enjoying everything. Uh, okay, that's all. Follow Chris, follow Lizzie, subscribe. All their links are below. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sip. We both have very different responses to sugar in our system. <laughs> yeah, it makes him happy. I start... No, it's like cocaine in your system. And in my system, it's like... Mm, it's like cocaine? Have a little meltdown. <laughs> she gets fussy, I start having fun. Like, this is the most fun I've had all day, and now she's done with me. I, I think I have your reaction to... to but it's well, burning inside. Okay. Sugar. You gotta stop. I can't. I ha I'm messy. Can you hit unroll? Doesn't cocaine... Unroll. Uh,